Hello, everyone, and welcome inside the CIF. I'm Richard Tiemann, and this is part one of a six-part series where I'm joined by a coach from each of the six teams competing in the 2021 CIF season. We'll go over their home and away opponents and talk about which matchups they're looking most forward to in lieu of the revised season schedule release next Thursday, February the 18th. So first up, the Sioux City Bandits. All right, fans, here for the first of our series of revised schedule sneak peeks, I welcome the head coach for the Sioux City Bandits, Coach Irv Strobin. Welcome, Coach. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Thanks for having me. I'm doing great. I'm excited because I think with the world of indoor football, there were a lot of question marks. And the biggest one was not when, but if there would even be a season. And obviously the announcement yesterday from Ricky Burt said that the 2021 season is going to happen. This is how it's changed. We're adapting. We're going to get through this, all of us together and, and make the most of it. So obviously a light at the end of the tunnel, some very good news. But uh, now we're going to talk with each individual coach. You're the first one up. We've got the home and away, no dates. So that's for next Thursday, the official revised schedule release. So what do we call this? Is this a uh, schedule sneak peek, uh, an opponent outlook, or a, a revised schedule teaser? Uh, I don't know what the name for it is, but uh, how do you feel going into uh, the rest of the week knowing that uh, we're almost there? Well, yeah, we're, we're, we're looking at short time now to get this uh, thing up and rolling. And <clears throat> like you said, it's nice to, nice to have an, an, an end goal and, and, a, and a set date, which I, I know you'll talk about in the next coming weeks or whatever. But uh, um, we've got our schedule. We've got our opponents. Um, we know when we're going to uh, set to camp now. And I can kind of get my players started to line it up to get them to Sioux City. And, um, and that's a big thing. You know, uh, we had made it all the way to the we had cut down to our final 24 man roster last year, actually had a preseason game. And then we had to ship some of our players home and kept some of them here um, kind of hanging in the limbo till I think June is when they actually finally canceled the season. So it's just nice to see a, an end date here where we're going to get uh, back to work, hopefully. Yeah, it's unfortunate to lose teams like Amarillo and West Texas. I was looking forward to see those ones take action. Um, there is uh, Oklahoma, but you guys actually do not have them on your schedule. The home and away opponents for you guys at home, you will face Wichita, Omaha, Salina, Wyoming, and Omaha again. And away, Omaha, Salina, Wichita, Wyoming, and then Salina again. At first glance, what matchup grabs your attention? this league, you know, top to bottom is, is competitive every week. So we're going to have to come to play ball. You know, we've got some, some great teams, you know, um, uh, three times against Salina. I'm looking at my schedule here, three times against Omaha. Those are, I mean, th those are knockdown drag out fights every time you line up against them. So um, it, at least twice we get uh, Omaha at home. I think traditionally we've had to go there twice and, you know, it's tough to play in Omaha. Um, and then, you know, on the flip side of that, we have to go to Salina twice and only get them home at once so um kind of six and one half dozen of the other you know it's 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 tough either way you got you got uh, you got six tough games there so um uh we go to wyoming we don't know much about them they come they come to us um so that's a that's always always poses a challenge i guess when you're you're uh you got a new opponent and you don't really have any film to break down on them um wichita is going to be a um a renewed rivalry since since we haven't played them for for a little bit um and i can tell you that over the years if you look back at our schedule it's it's always been sioux city wins when we're in sioux city and wichita wins when 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 we're in wichita and i guess obviously we hope to change that but top to bottom it's a it's a tough schedule we gotta we gotta come to play every week yeah, it looks like it's a pretty tough one, even with the absence of a team like Oklahoma. But uh, as you mentioned, you will play the new team, the Wyoming Mustangs, but you visit them first and then you will host them at home. Obviously, it was a completely different set of circumstances going into this offseason because last season didn't happen. So what's a bigger challenge for you right now as far as going into a season after losing one and then preparing for an expansion team like Wyoming? It would have been nice to nice to play a, 
a recognized opponent early on. You know, I think most of these coaching staffs have, have uh, we've come to know, you know, and I don't think from one year to the, to the next, they're going to change a ton of what's been successful for their program. So really, um, uh, you know, when you go against a team like uh, Wyoming early in the year, you know, hopefully let's see, we don't play them till the fourth or fifth week. So, you know, we'll have, we'll have a little bit of a gauge on what, uh, what they're putting out for film and maybe that will help us a little bit, but um, it never, <laughs> never is easy to open up against the uh, Wichita's and the Omaha's and the Salinas. So um, we'll have to get our guys in and it's a short training camp and, and get these guys to um, learn the playbook and, and recognize the plays early on. Now, this year's road to the Super Bowl was very much a tale of just how different the roads can be for each team. You had Kansas City, who was a number one seed. They got the first round by two home games. And then you had Tampa Bay, who had to play on the road three weeks in a row and then fortunately got to host. You know, the only game they hosted was the Super Bowl. But now you look at uh, momentum in the game of football. Such a such a huge thing. Coming off of a year where there wasn't a season, but now we're kind of back to normal as far as what's usually happening in a calendar year with indoor football. Do you feel like you guys are in a good spot now to proceed business as usual? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I think, you know, the good thing was is, is we were cut down to our 24-man roster. So, um, you know, majority of those guys are coming back and, and we felt comfortable last year knowing that we were going to have a, a competitive team and we were happy with the guys we had. And, like I said, a majority of those guys are coming back. So we've got, uh, we've got quite a few of the, the, the pieces of the puzzle together. Um, you know, we just got to brush off the edges and, and get going. Um, I guess your, your reference to the, to the, the Super Bowl. I always tell my guys when we get to camp, listen, <clears throat> the regular season matters because in my 21 years of, of indoor football, um, I've only seen maybe two or three road teams win a, win a championship. Um, so I can tell you my money was definitely not on the Chiefs going into Tampa Bay uh, if, uh, if there was anything as far as a correlation to indoor ball. So home field in the, in the playoffs matters. Um, hosting the championship is always our first goal. Um, obviously winning it is the end goal, but uh, you know, we, we always, we, we got to wrap up that number one seed um, heading into the playoffs. So um, that's our goal. Like you said, you speak from experience, so it's good to have uh, those years of knowledge and you can pass that along to your players because a lot of these guys are here to get hopefully some film and another shot at that next level. And we're going to look to do that in 2021. Now, of course, the big matchup that I think a lot of fans are excited to see a storied rivalry between you and the Omaha beef. This will be Coach Marvin Jones's first full season as head coach. How do you feel about going up against Coach Jones three times this season? I hate playing Omaha. I'm not even going to lie to you. You know, uh, like I said, those are every week, you know, you played them. And I, I, I can only imagine that, you know, they would say the same thing. Um, um, we respect the heck out of them. Uh, we, we like the staff with, you know, Ricky's down there. I like the whole organization. I just hate playing them, you know, cause it's such a tough game. You know, there's no, there's no easy win there. Um, but I guess, you know, it keeps your competitive juices going and that's, you know, ultimately why we do this stuff. And, and, uh, you know, it, it's going to be a challenge, you know, like I said, them and Salina three times on the schedule. It's it's tough. Now, you guys have your bye week. Uh, well, first, at the very beginning of the season after a non-league game. But then your next bye week is going to be uh, at the end of the season. You actually have um, two of them. It's uh, one and then you're at Wyoming, and then you have another, and then you have your last three games of the season. So a pretty good spot to have bye weeks. I'm sure you'd probably prefer to have just one if you could help it, but is there such a thing as perfect timing for a bye week, and where is that usually? Well, you know, somewhere somewhere around the injuries, ideally. <laughs> Those are never, uh, never predictable. <laughs> so, uh, you know, having them spaced out like they are can definitely uh, pose some advantages. I think... Uh, you know, um, knock on wood, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully COVID doesn't uh, affect any of these teams, but uh, I'm sure, I'm sure it's going to be uh, a challenge around that too. So, you know, kind of having that spread out. Um, I think, I, I think I like the way the, the bye weeks have lined up this year um, where are not two of them right up front. I think we've had a couple of years where it's like we play a game and then we got a couple buys early on and I'm like, geez, we're not even beat up yet. So it's nice to have them a little bit spaced out and then, at least have one closer towards the end of the year. So um, I like where we're at. 
Couldn't agree with you more. Well, coach, I want to thank you so much for your time as we kind of give the, our fans a uh, sneak peek at the revised season schedule, full schedule and its details, including the dates and times will be released February 18th. That's a Thursday next week. So make sure that you're watching for that to go out on the CIF social media pages. But coach, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you having, having me on. I'd like to thank Coach Strobing once again for being my first guest of this new six-part mini-series. We'll see you again tomorrow at noon with another coach and another team's home and away opponents. I'm Richard Tiemann, and this is Inside the CIF.